long time no see hope you're doing well over the last year or so as you know i lost my brother i actually tried to post a few videos here and there but it wasn't happening right so i had to take some time off i was actually doing some offline work so even though i haven't been posting on youtube i've been doing a lot of work and exciting work actually which you'll be amazed with the production of the new content the new products that we're about to release and we have a little guest in here his name is mamadou say salam alaikum yay <laughs> sorry for scaring you mm love you before i continue i hope you're doing well i hope everything is going well for you in 2024 i know it's july i know it's july but still i just want to make sure that you're well and um for those that have been active on the community on discord for those that have been messaging me for those students that actually managed to secure jobs through the courses i just want to say hello i'm here i've been hearing like people saying oh i'm running away and uh, i'm not publishing no more videos i'm back so let me talk to you now about the tech stack that i've been using over the i would say last six to yeah six to seven months actually maybe you want to build a SaaS product so this is what i found to work really well for me we'll also be publishing content about the SaaS products one in particular which is really exciting for developers and don't worry i'm going to show you the actual products that i've been designing uh, live in a second yeah so just stick with me so let me begin with the first tool in here and this is is figma so figma is a tool that allows you to basically do any kinds of design so for us really what we've been using figma is mainly in terms of producing all the mock-ups the designs just to make sure that if we are building for example the website or the mobile app or the web app then we have the figma file to follow instead of designing from paper or guessing what we need to build right so figma it's an amazing tool and i highly recommend you if you are a student you can get figma for free i think you can get all the features the next tool that i've been using and this is i've not i've been using but i use this all the time is git and github right so there's others such as gitlab bitbucket i think amazon aws they provide something as well but basically i use github usually to store all my projects and this is very important because now that i have a team so just to make sure that whatever we build all the products we use the best practices luckily for you actually i do have a 15 hour course so let me show you so right here so this is the 15 hour course that teaches you basically everything you need to know for git and github we cover repositories and doing changes working with branches pull requests squashing commits rebase and conflicts git client markdown ci cd agile project management force pushing um, tracking changes with git stashing resolving merge commits rebasing using code spaces security and ai power development with github copilot so definitely go and basically join the waiting list for this course and as soon as it's out i will let you know all right now let's move on into the programming languages so i've been using mainly 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 typescript there's some javascript i'll show you one product which i built using javascript but now everything is typescript and you know in the beginning i was a bit frustrated because i was so used to javascript no types and whatnot but to be honest i really don't mind it and um, we actually have a course on both so the full stack professional covers both javascript and typescript and i think typescript is mainly for when we use angular in that course but nevertheless if you want to learn about javascript or typescript we also have those courses for you on the platform so really awesome languages and i highly recommend it then obviously for the ui is going to be react so i used to use angular back in the days i think it was called is it angular js and then when they did the revamp and then they changed the code base and everything was like brand new to learn that's when react came out and since then i've been using react and i love it to be honest now obviously if you're using react then you kind of need a framework so Next.js, which is an amazing framework that sits on top of react and it provides really really awesome features actually there's a react course that rich 
Oliver Bray. So he actually recorded an entire course, which is about 10 hours just on React. So I'm going to be publishing that as well, where you can basically join the waiting list. We're still basically finalizing all the details in terms of making sure that we have all the uploads correctly and exercises, including builds, right? So there's going to be about 10 builds, which Omar is going to take part. So Rich for the first 10 hours and then Omar showing you how to build, uh, you know, cool applications with React. So stay tuned for that. And also next chance we'll have a course on this very soon which omar will take over so the next thing is for the back end i've been using superbase and superbase it's a open source firebase alternative so if you need a database if you need authentication if you need storage if you need serverless functions it has everything for you in terms of building products without having to think about service so you know aws configuring ec2s vpcs subnets key pairs rds it, it just gets too complex right so this abstracts all of that for you so that you can focus just on your product so it's amazing also we're going to release something very soon about superbase then firebase so i've got both here because uh, one of the products that i built initially was built using firebase and the reason because firebase is a document store where superbase gives you a relational database and for this product specifically i felt like using firebase was the best approach all right, cool. And then for payments, Stripe. So if you want to collect payments for whatever products that you are using, you can use Stripe. There's others, I think Lemon Squeezy and some others that you can use. But I've used Stripe in the past. I kind of like their documentation. The features that they have is quite straightforward. Yeah, all right. Now let me talk to you about the products that I've built. And obviously here, I don't want to keep this video too long because I'm going to go in detail into every single project. But to start off, this is the first project, which is Amigos Code. And you're like, whoa, Amigos Code. <laughs> Amigos Code 2.0. So Amigos Code 2.0 is basically a rebrand. So you can see that before we had the old logo, but now this is our new logo. And I'll talk about this rebrand, how we came about with this logo. But let me know, comment down below whether you like this logo or not. So with this, what we have is a brand new website. So if you've seen in here, let me actually go to the homepage. So this is the brand new website that we have. You can see it looks, you know, really dope. And um, we are more than a coding platform. So the rebrand really means that, you know, there's other products that we are coming up with. So we have the portfolio in here. So one click portfolio builder, which I'll come to you in a second, but also we are launching the bootcamp and this is the cohort number three. Yes, cohort number three. I've been running these boot camps without letting people know because I wanted to experiment. There's been a lot of success. Some of the students actually managed to secure jobs. So if you go to the website, you'll see all the success stories. But this is something that we are now taking forward. Yeah, so if you want to join the waiting list for the third cohort, go ahead and do so. And for this boot camp, I'm only thinking on taking 30 students all right so 30 to 40 students and i want to keep it small up to a point where maybe we can start to take about 100 students in one batch so there's 11 weeks so even though here it says 10 but you get one week bonus where we focus on cv and interview tips so this is a new website and also we have actually a, a new backend which is not up and running locally and it's not even deployed so uh, right now we use teachable as a backend for you to watch the videos so eventually all of that will go and uh, will be custom using the text tank that i've showed you right so that's what i've been using and um, building these products so far so amigos code 2.0 and more on it later. Perfect. The next product is Portfolio. So Portfolio is a one-click portfolio builder for developers. So just imagine if you want to build your own portfolio where you've got, you know, all of the projects that you have, programming languages that you know, your GitHub activity and all that stuff. So instead of you going building and then buying a domain, learn about deployment and all of that stuff, which can take you time if you're quite beginner with, I would say less than probably what, 30 seconds, you can get a portfolio up and running. Let me actually show you what this looks like. Again, I'll talk to you more on a separate video about this product, which is one which I'm so excited. So in here, this is the website. So again, if you want to join the waiting list for when the product is released, go ahead and enter your email and name. But really, if I click on 
this image in here so this is my portfolio and you can see that this actually looks quite nice and we're gonna have different templates one which i'm really excited uh omar just showed me you know the second template which looks really good and maybe by the time we release this product it might not even look like this right but this is my portfolio and this comes with its own dashboard so in here this is the dashboard that you can use to basically customize your own portfolio so you can change the templates you can change your biography add some projects products links socials and also the skills and uh, as I said, we'll talk more about this product because it's going to be dope. <laughs> All right, cool. The last product is I Mesh It. So this product right here has a long story. And to be honest, it's been over, I think over a year that I've been working on this. And this is the one that actually uses Firebase. Yeah, so this has a long story, which I might talk about it, you know, what happened to this product. But basically, this is basically a collection of brothers and sisters, actually. And we are building this solution for prayer timetable, as well as for you to never miss your salah. So let me quickly show you again the dashboard. But again, I'll come back to this on a separate video. So here, this is the dashboard for one of the mosques. What you can do is there's a bunch of features such as timetable projects gallery in here google slides you can actually launch the app by clicking on this button and off you go so you can see that you know some machines are actually using this as beta so it's not fully out yet but again i will come back to you and basically just present the idea and if you want to get involved implementing all of this and gain some rewards which is basically what we want to get from this product then you are more than welcome all right as i said um, i'll be posting frequently not just the tech stack that i've been using because obviously yes it looks cool but we're going to continue with java we're going to continue with spring i think it was yeah yesterday i met josh long you know the guru of java and spring Boot. we're going to be doing some stuff together so there's really really good stuff coming out your way that's all for now make sure to smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one Assalamu alaikum.